want to get 10 hours back every week, I'll share with you my six favorite apps and tools that help me work smarter, not harder. From tools to get community engagement to my favorite AI apps, which actually includes a collection of AI in different tools and so much more. These are some serious time savers and will transform your productivity and efficiency. This is going to be a nice all-encompassing list of tools that I use nearly every day, if not every other day at least. Let's start with a tool not a lot of people know about. And I want to make sure you get one of the best right in the beginning. And I am talking about Magi AI. Magi is a tool that puts together multiple different tools. As you can see right here, and I have the beta access, which means I have even more than you see. Some of those are in the works right now to be integrated. You as a user have access to ChatGPT 3.5, the 3.5 with the 16K, the ChatGPT 4 in the advanced mode, and the ChatGPT 4 32K in the advanced mode. You also have access to both of the cloud AIs, as well as Palm and Llama are coming up. You also have three visual AIs accessible to you. Now, tell me again, why are you paying for ChatGPT when you can pay for a tool that gives you access to, did I just count right, how many different AI tools all in one by paying for one? Yes, I have a deal for you. You are saving yourself 30%, I think, on the first two or three months. Link is in the description. Now, however, affiliate link aside, being able to easily switch personas, set up your personalized personas. Yes, you can set up your own custom personas. Switch between the AIs you need. As you can tell, we've been using Magi for literally everything. Helping us write short form descriptions, helping us optimize scripts, helping me write out my talks. It's literally, when you look at this, it's endless. It comes down to you. I've also been using it to really put into words what Ask Evie, the brand and the personality stands for. And honestly, there's nothing better than having one AI service combining all of the other ones. And I know you will love Magi. And something else I know you will like is this video by hitting the like button down below. Talking about AI, let's see our next app as it has AI built in. And you know that one. You've seen me talk about this a lot and it's very easy to see why, especially after my comparison video I just published on Instagram. ClickUp is the best task manager out there right now. It simply is. Yes, he is my dead horse, Asana. One assignee is I, 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 I cannot get over this. You've seen all the videos. I don't need to tell you why ClickUp is the best out there. Now, not only that, ClickUp is a tool that will help you keep the people who you work with together in one place. So go watch my ClickUp playlist. There is more than enough video for you out there. Second of all, I want to give you three tips to start your ClickUp the right way. Don't create a lot of different spaces. I have a video for that on you. You should have five standard spaces. That's it. Understand the hierarchy and how to use it and clean up your notifications. There is a getting started playlist for you on my channel. Go watch it. Now, another one that is not well known, Fireflies. Fireflies AI pops into my Zoom meeting, transcribes, summarizes, searches, and analyzes my voice conversations. But it does not stop there. You can also use this tool because you have Ask Fred in here, which is ChatGPT based with some credits, and have Fred do things for you, like based on the transcription, or what are some ideas or suggestions that were mentioned in that one hour phone call. Not only that, you can customize your AI in apps right here in Firefly. Of some magic sound bites, some of these are turned on already. You can see them down here where there is the sound bites where you can create them. You have the regular meeting summary, the action items. You also can build your own to-dos in here. For example, if ClickUp gets mentioned, 
go note it all down. There is so much you can do, go play with it. Now that three of my tools already involve AI, I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comment section, do you use AI? And if so, how do you use AI? Tool number four, school. Not with a CH, but with a K. School is the tool we are using for our community. As you can see, we are just moving everybody over. I haven't moved the Facebook group yet. What we have moved is our startup, your ClickUp community and getting ready for the book launch with all of the bonuses. Why school is so amazing is it has integrated leaderboards where you can really entice your community to get engaged. It has been one of the biggest issue because you, if you're using a Facebook group, people get sidetracked. They go here, they go there, there's an ads and all the things. We always wanted to get off of Facebook. Discord, way too much. There is circle, but it's like, it's, it's boring. Nothing is happening. People are not enticed to come back. And let's be honest, we procrastinate. We don't implement, we don't do till we get enticed. And that's where school has been been amazing. Not only that, as you can tell, a lot of my peers are building their community in here. It's nice and easy to switch around the different communities and really engage and be able to easily support your community and give them things because you know who actually wants to work with you. So if you want to test drive school, and see why I love it so much. Get some goodies on the way. Come join our community at askev.tips forward slash community. We got a couple levels, still some goodies to plug in, but you can even get free calls with me. Number five. G Suite, now called Google Workspaces. This is a well-known one, but I will give you some secret tips that you probably won't know. Google Workspaces, first of all, is handling your business email. And I'm sorry if you are doing business under an at Gmail account. Are you serious about your business? Please get a URL. Please get your business email set up. It makes you look so much more professional. But not only that, Google Workspaces also gives you access to Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, all the things where you might have needed another subscription before with Microsoft Office or something like that. It is all cloud-based. It takes care, again, as I said, of our business emails, of our whole office setup with Sheets and Word documents. It also is our asset management tool of choice, as you might have seen in some of my videos. I promised you three secret tips and you will get the secret tips. Now, conditional formatting in Google Sheets. Look at, look at the guest seats. I'm using our ClickUp Estimator as a example. You get this actually when you join the community in the level one, it's right in there. Now look at the guest seats needed right here in six. If I change this to edit access, now suddenly it turns yellow because you have seven guest seats included and there's a calculation behind it that says, hey, when this turns to the maximum, you want to get this red. Now what happens if we go past? Now it turns red and you actually get a full on notification that says, whoa, 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 whoa. If you want to do this, you need to add another full seat. That is color and conditional format. Now in documents, you already have heard me talk about voice typing, which I really love when my microphone actually is set up right and not recording live. So it allows you to easily voice type in a Google document. Now look at this here. This right here is what called a smart chip. There's multiple different things in here. The one I love most is variable because what that does is you can insert a new variable, for example, product. Now, if I go in here and I say client means the value is Yvonne Hyman, throughout this whole document, it will replace client with my name or whatever you tell it to do. And here you have three secret tips, two of which you might 
not have heard about yet? Let me know in the comments. Did you hear about these? Last, but definitely not least, Make.com. Make.com is Zapier cheaper on steroids. I know a lot of people know Zapier. It is nice and easy to use and a good starting point, but it easily can break the bank because it already starts at 20 bucks a month. Make is way cheaper than this and makes life so much easier for building automations. Now we use Make for all different kinds of automations. Think of it as where you need to transfer data, automatically create a task when a new client is onboarded, automatically create assets in Google Drive, as you can see right here. We, we use it through so many different use case scenario in our business. The ceiling really is your imagination. For example, as you see here, specific webhook triggers this holds the information from a ClickUp task, creates a folder in Google Drive, then creates multiple other folders. This is what we use for our content creation to create the folder and the structure with a Google Drive. So all is right. And then right here is when graphics are being submitted to make sure they are named the right and perfect for SEO. They come in through a form, then get funneled into uploaded to Google Drive, into click up and attach to the right task and all the things. Now, suddenly my team has the time to do things and doesn't have to make sure and triple check that all the things are right and that they're all in the all places and it's just automated. Now, if you create content for your business and you feel like, oh my God, Evie, I spent so much time with assets and generating things and between tools and doing all the things, right here is a playlist for you that walks you through the full on process of content creation start to finish. So go watch that playlist. Don't forget to subscribe because new videos are coming up for you to make your business more efficient than it was yesterday.